Nobody wants to be scrap. Okay. Yesterday, we watched a very big video. We watched a massive fucking video. Today, we return, and we're going to watch the end of the line. Barney's new video. It is fucking time. Who's ready? I'll, I'll, I'll do the I'll do the cracking knuckles too. Here we go, guys. He's watching it in the tiniest window imaginable. I'll turn it down a little bit. The wait is over. Yep. Does he? Right, does he? Do okay, there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, does he watch it in a big window? At any point? <laughs> Goof Troop. I remember them from the old video. Holy shit. This, um, this intro took, like, an hour to render. <laughs> Just by itself. Because of, um, all the effects on it. I have this VHS effect that I, I use in this video. I hope Barney actually gets Scarabord. <laughs> I really do. I hope it happens, because it is the ultimate story of triumph. Here we go. This VHS effect that I have, <coughs> excuse me, this VHS effect that I use, um, is like so, I don't know why Sony Vegas struggles to render it fast. So whenever I use that VHS effect, just know that like it took like 50 times the amount of time <laughs> that you watch it in to render it. Like that intro took like an hour to render, just that like 20 second clip. Cause it's like, it's, it's like data moshes faded into data moshes, faded into data moshes with color correction. Cause I turned the saturation up and there's a VHS layer on top of it, giving it that kind of like blurry effect. And then I've gone in and blurred it myself as well. So it, it, it's like naturally blurred. <clears throat> yeah. You know, honestly, I don't know why I made the intro so melancholic. I mean, sure, I don't get Scarab Lord, but this is a joyous occasion, no? Two videos, one year? Imagine wow. that. saw that coming. Now, don't ask me for anything ever again. Oh, and just real quick. Turn it up! Seven out of 32 quest complete, even though I left you on three out of 32, is because I added four to the total that I finished later that don't have, like, a standard hand in. I just this is true, but the real reason is that I couldn't find the quests in the room, because there are quests that they don't have, like, a... There are quests in this quest line that don't have like a start, a quest start or like a quest hand in, but they do and it's really difficult. And there's one that I left in right at the end, the one where it's the Might of Kalimdor. That's just a quest where you talk to Anachronos. <clears throat> and there's like five other quests that are like that where like the only thing you do is talk to the same person and they give you another quest. So I just added those at the start. I just figured it would be easier to do it now because if I do it later, you guys might be like, wait, the also, number has turn up, up no the volume, Asmongold. Said, the video starting. Oh wait, that means I have to edit a transition. Or play Doki. <laughs> Welcome to the final episode. All it right, is the let's 19th see it. of August, 2020, 2.12 Volume up? Okay. We join yours truly, approaching the caverns of time outside of which Anachronos is waiting patiently to speak with us. Now that I have secured my reputation as the greatest bug slayer of all time, wow. Anachronos is finally willing <laughs> to stop being a child and talk to me. Like, do you not know who I am? I'm the main <laughs> character of Grobulus. I literally grinded through 11... He looked away at the plush. He also spoke over the intro in the last episode where I said that I didn't get Scarab Lord, right? Like, you know, like the big bait, the big fucking... That's me sending out the bait, right? And he fucking looked away and talked over it. So he doesn't even know, like, that the whole bit is that, like, um, I don't get Scarab Lord. Open bug farms. This guy should be the sucking main my character of the server. I like that. Me, though. Anachronos <laughs> tells me I am the hope of Kalimdor and then wow. graciously offers me a terrible ring to aid in my travels. Amazing. <laughs> if there was ever any question that this game's design has always been malicious, uh, this quest proves it. Wow, yeah. did you just beat the most insane grind we've ever put in the game? Nice. Here's, here's your downgrade, <laughs> dickhead quest. Yeah, here's a ring that's worse than what you got in Molten Core. <laughs> It's Please. true. Next it, up, Anachrono says, hey, you know that the ring does eventually upgrade into being the best, one of the best in slots. But, like, the fact that you grind the whole bug farm <clears throat> to get that ring, and it's a downgrade until you improve your rep even more. <laughs> 
redstone you keep ominously including in all your cinematics, mm -hmm. go check it out. So we go check it out, and that's when we get oh, the God. lore dump I explained in episode one. You guys remember that, right? With the bugs and the dragons and the useless archers oh, yeah. smashing the scepters oh, and yeah. all Oh, yeah, Mr. Crab. Those were the good days. Yeah. Quest complete. I was then summoned back to Anachronos, and this is the point in the quest line where it's revealed we need to be the ones to find those gems and rebuild that scepter because Anachronos is too depressed to do it himself or something same the whereabouts of the gem i don't know why we had to do it for him either i didn't read that part of the quest <laughs> yeah it, i did this back in wrath of the lich king before <coughs> he got is removed of course a complete mystery there's no law reason as to why anachronos can't do it and he's an all-powerful bronze dragon so he should just be able to do it and he could probably do it more efficiently i guess it's because he has to guard the uh the entrance to the caverns of time even though Anachronos and also he doesn't just want he just doesn't want to the arch druid had his little joker moment also Anachronos has seen every timeline that could ever exist so he knows that you're going to do it anyway oh, Farian, actually, that was a mistake. I guess that wasn't his joker moment his joker moment was probably when he joined Ragnaros in Cataclysm huh that guy was just so an shocking asshole. to me too like <laughs> Ragnaros wanted this guy as his right hand man yeah this guy? I mean I know executors set the bar low but this guy did he just took L's non-stop for like a thousand years that's like he's his a lore. loser even his gimmick achievement is hard. it's true if you go read his lore page <clears throat> this, a char this character exists to, to just get shit on. He's one of those characters that just, like, never gets a break in the lore. Like, everything that happens to that character is bad, and it's mostly self-inflicted, too. <laughs> Then is encounter. I'm getting sidetracked. Each gem was appointed a guardian that actually for, for is true. one reason or another. Every single yeah, guardian has abandoned their true. duty. But I've played Dark Souls 3, so I, I already know how this one goes. We are told to prepare for the worst, and we are sent on our way. All right. Quest complete. So this is the part where the quest line breaks into three separate threads. Each mm -hmm. thread follows the search for one of the three Different gems, and these can the be scepter. done in any order. If you collect yep. all three gems, you can bring them to Anachronos, and he will... This little scene here, <clears throat> this one took like another hour to render because of the VHS effect. And the wibbly wobbly... <laughs> ...them to craft the scepter of the sift sift sift... Fuck this... <laughs> It's the last episode. Just get through it. If you get the scepter, you get the mount, okay? But because this quest line is really lovely, you could do it in any order. It's so wacky. To prevent any confusion on your part, you can check the title card of each section to know which <laughs> quest line we're currently progressing. You can also see how many total Oh my god. Completed, this shit was so complicated. Open. Come spoon feeding you the content. Oh my god. I'm also just taking the time now to let you know that we have entered full <laughs> chronological. And this bit. This bit took like half an hour to render too. Chronological storytelling, bitch. <laughs> the rest of this video takes takes place chronologically over 29 hours, which is now 28 hours. <laughs> It's not looking good. But you oh. want to know what is looking good? The Barney Beekeeper plushie. Wow. Wow. I designed it myself. Wait, The real what? magnetizable hands let you replace the weapons with actual knives. Uh, my lawyers have what? told me to inform you that that was a joke. Please do not replace the weapons with actual knives. Oh my god. Can. Brenda, your entire we life can actually get one of those? with one touch of the magnet I might get hands. one. That's oh, awesome. No. I've corrupted my can Send one to Asmund Gold, Richard. Richard. You can put it on your desk, your bed, <laughs> or even in the corner of your room. Yeah, Safe that is really cool. It will stay exactly where you left it. Any reports that the Barney Beekeeper plushie is actually alive have been greatly exaggerated. Of course. He's undead. <laughs> Fuck it. Mask on. No, they'll never know it was me. When they said, hey, this uh -huh. is too much for one plush, I said, shut the fuck up. I wanted to have a hood as well. <laughs> Listen, I, I am not that mean to my manager. Th those were scripted screenshots for the video. I'm not that mean. Hood <laughs> now included. As it turns out, spending three years making the best World of Warcraft <laughs> video series on the platform mm -hmm. isn't the most financially responsible thing you could do. Which is why you're all gonna buy the plush so it was worth it, right? Right? Absolutely. A hundred percent. Just kidding, guys. Only buy the plush if you like it. But I should tell you, if we don't sell out, I'm never uploading again. The Beekeeper.shop. A link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> fucking burped. So this is the plush is a real thing then. As Shara. Yes. Named after the <laughs> Night Elf Queen who did the thing. You'd think yeah. this zone would present she really endgame challenges stuff worthy up. of its namesake, but actually it's pretty fucking dead. But that's because yeah. as Shara was never intended as a questing zone to begin with, it was this meant to be a to battle be Dota. Don't believe me? Yeah. I'm about to blow your mind. Originally designed as an instant yep. battleground, as Shara we had three video, lanes, I remember two this. large jungles, and a river this running was down crazy. the middle. Does this sound familiar? It's implied right. that the two teams Yo, thanks, would Cody, advance on that. each other thank until you, thank you, one base fell. But it must have been really fucking boring much. because it was scrapped super close to release and now as Shara exists like this. Now, I don't blame Blizzard for scrapping their Dota Battleground. They never did quite figure out that three-lane no, gameplay. No, they but I never figured it out that well. nothing with the zone in 12 years. Remember the big cannon? I don't that think they said we were going to be able anyway, to shoot. we're here to talk to this that big That cannon dragon. has this pissed me off for far too long, okay? 
they, I mean, do I need to say, they put this cannon in the game and they, they're like, we're going to fire this cannon at the end of Cataclysm and it's going to be so sick. And then they never did it. And then, like, Warlords of Draenor comes. <clears throat> no, Pandas come. <clears throat> Sorry. And then Warlords. And then Legion. Shoot the cannon! Azhigos. Hi, I'm Azhigos. You might remember and him from closing the, the gates 1,000 years ago. But what you might not know about Azhigos is that he is the blue dragonfly- Oh, wait, hold on. He is the blue dragonfly's trinket keeper, which basically what? means he's every blue dragon's bank hole. And he fucking hates it. He despises <laughs> the fact that whilst every other blue drake is off in the next banging mana straight from the source, having the sickest parties of all time, he's stuck yeah, in fucking true. Azshara. Dead zone, no bitches, guarding other people's stuff from dickheads like me. Yeah, they I hear my echo in his like, headset. <laughs> Kronos gave the blue scepter gem to the blue dragonflight to keep safe forever. So what that actually meant was Azhigos was given the blue scepter gem to keep safe forever. And just like any dragon who is guarding a one-of-a-kind gem, Azhigos would mm -hmm. be targeted by more treasure hunters than ever before. And yeah. Azhigos was pissed. 500 years Yeah, we later. killed him a few fucking times. <laughs> I don't need a wife. My job fucks me. <laughs> At this point, True. Azhigos has lost <laughs> count of the amount of attempts made on his okay. life because of this damn gem. And just like with literally any Blizzard character, if you give them enough time, he became unhinged. And then he fed the blue scepter gem to a fan. You know, now that I feel... Wait. Oh, yeah. That actually, this, by the way, is not an exaggeration. This is actually what happened in the story. <laughs> Present day. I cannot take... That quote, you're just one bad day away from being me. I thought it was a Joker quote, but it's actually a Punisher quote. And I and I and and it clicked when I was watching Netflix like the other day, and that episode came on where he's like, "You know, Red, you're just one bad day away from being me." And I was like, "Huh?" Five steps without some crazed orc or human trying to thrust a sharp stick into my hide. Looks like life didn't get no. any better for Azhigos after all. That'll have to wait until Cataclysm when he enters into a romantic relationship with a spirit healer. Real actual law. Oh, by the, the Joker way. does so do it as well. The fate okay. of the blue gem, one of the trillion. What? And fish healer. We'll have to wait until Cataclysm when what? he enters into a romantic relationship with a spirit healer. Real actual. Real law. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, Lore, so by the I way. didn't know so that. Now we know the fate of the blue I, gem. I never One fucking knew that. Wow. Fish in the sea ate it. Also, because he's currently this in his This dude's wacky, fucking ghost. Unhinged. Edgy. It's not a phase. Phase. Mm -hmm. Ajagos enchanted that same fish with arcane properties okay. for the lols in the hope it would become a giant just sea for monster fun. who terrorizes fishermen. So just However, to do he it. does throw us a bone and tells us that if we make a Baba Booey out of arcanite, the mm -hmm. arcane properties of that metal should attract the fish. Thanks for the sub, by the way, guys. I'll shout everyone out after this. Ajagos gives us a ledger to take to a contact of his oh in Tanaris, whom he describes as They're... a terrible, terrible psychic, the but an amazing no. engineer. With any luck, perhaps this guy can help us out. I and remember if not, this. well, that sucks yeah. because Azhigos is done talking to us. I said good day, sir! I fucking hate these <laughs> dragons. Well, time to head to Tanaris and find this engineer. Or rather, I really don't like for my... how it started raining just at the end of this clip because it makes it look like it's not taken at the same time. Summon crew to summon Slow. me right there, huh? Gaming. Mm -hmm. Handing over the blueprints to the engineer. See, that's, that's power gaming right there. That's using, <laughs> that's being the main character of the server, okay, guys? Please. We ask him if he can make the Arcanite Baba Booey, to which he responds, yes. Can't even read this shit, bro, it's in Draconic. <laughs> Another funny little oh, prank no. from our friend Azhigos, who, by the way, according dummies. to the quest dialogue, knows the engineer can't read Draconic, oh, which means he did this shit on purpose. <laughs> 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 I am laughing. Lord. I'm gonna kill Azhigos. Even though he can't <laughs> read... This, by the way, is the <laughs> best quest line Blizzard's ever made. Draconic, the engineer says he's willing to give it a shot anyway. Yep. He'll just need a couple of items beforehand. The first item he needs is a Draconic translation guide, which is a completely reasonable ask. The second yep, thing sure. he needs are his reading goggles that That's his ex-BFF stole from him. No problem Sure, whatever, he needs them to read. And Absolutely. the third thing he needs is a 500-pound chicken. Okay, this fucking guy. Oh, According yeah! His, pondering orb, <laughs> his ex -BFF is either hiding this shot, side of Gilgamesh by the way, yeah. furries, or somewhere... Can I just say, this shot was genius. This isn't like a thing that happens in the game. I did this, right? I had to NPC morph into the guy, and then I had to channel a spell into nothing. 
in Outland being pursued by the Burning that. Legion. Luckily for me, we don't need to wait until TBC to find him. That's complete. But we will need to wait to find those goggles because uh, uh -huh. he dropped them in Molten Core. It is at this point I realized had I not left that Peace Bloom DKP earlier on in the week, oh I would have been God, I forgot all about and that. unable to even <laughs> attempt this part of the quest. So thank you, Dawnbreakers, for hosting a scam DKP and being so unnecessarily hostile when questioned about it. Without you, none of this is possible. But we're going to need... I feel like I've never been in a DKP race that wasn't a scam <laughs> like every single one that i was ever in including the ones that i was leading they were all scams every single one to put a pin it would be entirely in character for me to skim off the top in a gdkp but i've actually never done that <laughs> which is a shame and that because uh, <laughs> I'm leaving this it's bad. and joining it's like, oh, it's a rounding Why? error because it's oh, almost it's 7 p.m. which means the winter court just a rounding error. Blackwing Lair. Among the three shards, oh, the also, red shard this is really far. this really bugs me because you can't actually see it. But when that <clears throat> when it comes up on that scene where like the title card appears, the aspect ratio actually shrinks into four by three. And it becomes a square, but because it's like black on black, you can't see it. But the the aspect ratio shrinks, and then it and the VHS effect like fades this in. This part of the quest. So thank you, Dawnbreakers, for hosting a. Among the, I'm leaving this raid group and joining. But you can't really see it on YouTube because it's almost it's 7 p.m., which means the winter court just around the Blackwing Lair. It's like there, here, like the aspect ratio shrinks down. Among the three shards, yeah. the red shard is by far the easiest to obtain as it was given to Nefarian, and I literally kick the shit out of this guy every week. But as I mentioned no last problem. episode, the Easy overwhelming enough. majority of my guild are already locked to every raid after helping secure Clean. 10 Scarab Lords. If I wanted to oh attempt the segments God. of the questline that take place within raids, I would have to, and this is Pug literally my guild catchphrase. Figure it out! 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 Yo, figure it out! Figure it out! <laughs> In Those fact, are all clips taken from like I'm going to tell you guys, like, I've tried to do a BWL pug on Monday night. Whew. That, that's something, let me tell you. That really is something. The GM of Final Boss um, at one point had a 12 plus hour BWL GDKP that ran where they cycled through like seven different like <laughs> groups of people. Because I'm always numbers steps ahead. <laughs> Yesterday, when I was still farming bugs, I was also reaching out to pretty much every guild in GDK yeah, on course. the server who I knew was raiding tomorrow to see if anyone could fit me into a Blackwing Lair run. I received Makes only sense. two responses. Back. So when I uh, write my scripts, I write down key information in the moment, and then I come back to it like months later. And I do a thing where I copy paste um, Discord DMs into like a text document. So even if I can't find the DM. I have exactly what was said, right? And on the right here, that's what happened where I couldn't find the DM. Have you ever, have you guys ever had this, right? I've had this a lot. The most recent person I actually had this with was Charborg, where I have Charborg as a friend on Discord and I couldn't find our DMs. I type in his name and I couldn't find them. And this happened with the person who this DM was with originally where I couldn't find their DM anymore. I just, it just wasn't there, even though I know it happened because I have the proof. So I just, re I just replaced the name with Cody's. Back and thus was given a choice, not between two guilds per se, but between two different risks. You see, the red shard only drops from Nefarian if you beat Blackwing Lair within five hours of starting So you have to have a good encounter. group. If you fail, you actually get a bad ending letter sent to your mailbox from Nefarian Wait, himself, really? where he basically just flames you for being too slow. It's wow. pretty funny and I didn't even know deserved, that. to be honest. But therein lay the we, we never risk, failed ours. Proclaimed casual <laughs> guild that doesn't require world buffs or even consumes to raid. As someone who is used to sweaty, pathetically optimized, no fun allowed, clear comm, sub one hour speedruns, I was no doubt hesitant to accept that offer. And then there was the second guild, a self-proclaimed hardcore guild who had the rep and logs to back it up. Clearing mm -hmm. in time wasn't up for debate, so why did I hesitate to say yes? Well, I made the a guild lot of enemies suck. during my time yeah. in the desert, and how strange, they are now inviting me to BWL? Hmm. Now, what would I do if I was there? Because if, if it, what you would do is you would fucking get him locked to the first boss, and then as soon as that shit is over, then just immediately kick them out of the raid. That's what I would do. That's like, what I, I everyone would, I would, get would the do. Person locked, and then kick them out immediately. Fucking after. 
invite and they were going to do my it. Boss kill, then kick that me once I was saved for the raid, thereby failing my quest, locking me out of BWL for the week, and ruining Scarab Lord for me. Yes. I mean, it's objectively funny, and they yes, might have gotten is. away with it too if I wasn't numbers steps ahead. But if it's one yep. thing I can just never say no to, <clears throat> it's the chaos of a cursed casual run. Oh no. Oh no, they're really gonna they're really gonna try <coughs> that. Oh no. Welcome to Blackwing Lab. Speedrun edition. Right away, this was already the most unique run of BWL I had oh, ever no. been to. Instead of being warlock summoned inside a wall like a sweaty geek this and zoning is not in for good. free, we had actually met up in game as a raid group. Oh like, wow. Socially. Okay, and so I have a bet with my friend a uh, joke coming up where I make the joke that I like it from behind. Um me and Cody have a bet going that when I say that, Asmongold's uh, gonna pause and he's gonna do like the eyebrow thing. Approached BRM from the rear. So I'm really excited. Wow, just like the old days. Because I'm a rogue and we like it from behind. Oh, I've heard from behind? So this is the first boss. He kind of did it. Untamed, which I'm guessing is an ironic name because we'll be using this orb of domination to force him to murder his own children. That's pretty fucked up, but completely necessary because his mortality is tied to the egg. It's a half win. That is really kind of crazy. Whenever you think about it, you're mind controlling him to kill his own eggs. That's fucked up. Erg, Razor and kill him. The eggs would He's getting upon used his to it. Death, yeah, we're gonna massive we're, damage and killing us. Gays, we're here to in infect and take over. We're gonna normalize it. <laughs> Everyone. So you kill ads, this kill the eggs, lifestyle. Kill the we're normalizing it. Easy enough. I'm putting down, bitch. <laughs> but guys, I won't lie. This raid is really scaring me. They're cracking jokes on the mic. That's the gay agenda. And they're not clearing comms. <laughs> and oh. worst of all, I think they're having. It sounds like they're having. Are we supposed not to play yet. gay now? Fun? No. I feel like it's so funny to me that Tips hasn't streamed in like two <laughs> years, and clear comms is still one of the biggest memes in classic WoW. Clear comms. No one follow me. No one move. No one follow no me. One Get away from that. I'm the original clear comms I gamer. Alone okay. have to enter the second room and speak with Veilstrass to start the red shard quest. Yeah, that's the easy. Five hour timer starts now. A wise man Ooh. once said the purest essence of WoW's gameplay is standing and hitting. Where's if the that world is buffs? to be true, then Veilstrass is the most World of Wait. Warcraft fight World of Warcraft has to offer. Because that was wow, I'm doing a lot of standing that. and with a buff that doubles your damage, <laughs> you're gonna do a lot of hitting too. Yes. What's especially great about Veilstrass? is that the double damage buff carries over to the next couple you of can trash use it for the trash, fast yep. enough, making the journey to the suppression room that bit faster. And believe me, you'll be thankful for it because this is the part where the raid slows to a grinding... This is the worst part of all classic. Oh. Welcome to the this suppression room. Trash. Designed by Satan in yes, hell, the this Cthune room features trash. numerous Sucks traps massive, which slow you by dicks. 90%. These traps can only be disarmed by rogues. Yeah, the depression the time room. you disarm them for is random. If you're straight in chat and you're attracted to me and you're and you're like a you identify as a as a boy and you're attracted to me and you're like oh no I'm gay I'm a girl it's okay but I wouldn't date you but just know that you're okay and I'm with no you don't need to be confused <laughs> and whelplings yeah. constantly spawn around each <laughs> trap <laughs> and that's just cool. the stage hazard. like you have no <laughs> chance fun, you have right? to manage but those traps a little bit of fun. yeah I mean you have no chance but at the very least you don't need to be confused. So trash mobs you have to clear on the way through, but I don't get to do damage because I, I got fucking hate the raid this, through. Man. It is a tedious, completely unfun awful. shit show of a section that spoils the pacing in what is an otherwise A tier raid. Yeah, Black Wing Layer was awesome. The next boss, Broodlord Lash Layer, is a completely brain off tank and spank. You just stand and hit. It's classic mm -hmm. WoW. If you die to this boss, you're a complete fucking noob. You just stand and hit. It's classic WoW. If you die to this boss, you're a complete fucking noob. True, Nobody true, died. so true. So it was good. Roll on yeah, ahead if you're on the that. quest line. Wait, I thought Barney was getting it for sure. Gonna be on skull and X, except for one the head is the first quest as we you scrub. Wait. Wait. I think I might throw up. After pulling four packs of techies with no sappers, we were ready so to confuse. The oh no, you don't the need the head. That's Fire right. Mold. That's right. I forgot. You already had it. Fire yeah, I, I got confused. Definitions is objectively okay. a well-designed fight, fulfilling literally every class fantasy in one encounter. The tanks get to be slapped around and boiled alive for so no the duration of the fight. Yeah, Melee really get to fun. risk their lives trying to pass, gambling on stack resist so as to avoid downtime moving out, and range get to stand back and safely press their one button. And it sounds so easy, right? Bunch of stacks, guys. Bunch of your six. It is so easy, but it's the hardest boss in the dungeon. If you can beat Fire Maw, <laughs> you can beat any boss in Classic WoW. Fire Maw is the hardest boss probably in all of Classic WoW. I would say if you can beat Saffron, you can beat every boss in Classic WoW. I think Saffron has the biggest checks of any fight in Classic. Some of them like artificial, but Saffron is definitely 
for, for one reason or another, even if it's like artificial difficulty, uh, Saffron is the hardest fight in Classic. IMO. But before that, probably Firemore. Uh, no, I think Cthune is harder than Firemore, actually. But Firemore is like top five. Careful. Down. You would be mistaken. Also, because this is Horde gameplay, you really gotta watch that threat. What, what do I oh no. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Alright. Yep. That's the first time I've ever seen Yep, that's a good old fashioned Monday <laughs> night. Monday night BWL. Just Monday night BWL. <laughs> wiped on the boss again. Well, shucks, guys, we've wiped on fire more for the last 12 hours, so I think we're going to have to just wait for the reset. But thanks for coming to the raid, everyone. <laughs> just a good, just good old day. I blame Barney, honestly. Just die now. No. Just die now. <laughs> so anyway, we've got five hours, and, you know, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Guys, can we, can we speed up this BWL? I got to go fuck my sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got a wedding between okay. my brother Reza, and my other stop. brother. Hate on, bait on, cap on. Oh, this God. doesn't usually hap on. Let's try this again. Yes, it and does. This pull, the Shut up. Yes, it up does. Their name because this pull it was fucking frosty. Look, mum, I'm pumping. We then pull the rest of the techies with no sappers. And I go over to this table to pick up this book, which is actually chapter seven of Draconic for Dummies. Yep. I'll need to collect chapters one through eight in order to make a complete book for the engineer, which I'm now. God, dude, like, I just... Why is everyone I, I saying pint? back on the tale of high adventure that this quest really gave you. Like, this quest, in my opinion, I feel like this is what... This is the this is the apex pinnacle of, of human existence was this quest in World of Warcraft Classic. <laughs> it was so good. And you had to kill a chicken. Realizing <laughs> in the moment, hold on, I don't even know that in character yet. Hold on, I haven't even picked up the quest that allows me to loot chapters. Yeah, uh -oh. what the fuck is that? Um, give me. Wait, what? Give me one sec. Can I get a. Oh my a god, he didn't get the quest. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it is at this point I turn questy oh on and reload god. my UI. When I load back in, I am it's dead. So, so I figure, fuck it, death warp. It is a speedrun after all. We'll it's so fucking dumb, he man. Back on the quest, we won't pull another bomb. He's stressing for me. <laughs> shouldn't take that long. The part that Guys, we're not right. gonna make it. My summon team then summons me to a remote island off the southern coast of Tanaris, where the engineer supposedly buried a copy oh, of Draconic yeah. for Dummies some years ago. When we dig up the book, quest complete. So, like, what you <laughs> have to do is you would have to sail out to an island. You know, like, in Lost Ark, where you can go off the map and find, like, special little areas? So, in, uh, in WoW, there was, like, one island at the very bottom of Tanaris, and you had to, you had to not on the map off of the island and, and do that. So, they had, to, they had to summon her out there, so she could get that one and then after that then real you pronouns the different pages because i remember doing this again it was one of the best fucking experiences i love but it was very giga chad might be my favorite emo that's like ever existed i think it's really like it's always funny no matter what is with it be fucking frustrated Enable it. I should enable it. To be a ransom note addressed to the engineer. I figure the fastest way back to the engineer is to unstuck to the gadget sand graveyard That's a smart and then idea, move actually. north. Instead, Blizzard's patented "Go fuck yourself unstuck" Westfall. technology actually teleports me to Kargath, and my summon team have already hearthed to Silithus. What? So I get a summon to Silithus, fly to Tanan, hand over the ransom note, quest complete, oh, and wow. then pick up the next quest. And this is where I realize in the footage, actually, I didn't even need to go on this tangent at all, and it will make sense. Wait, Really? Later, this Why? has just been a certified idiot moment. But in I fairness you had to, to do me, that. I had not slept in like 20 something hours. I got a little latency in the brain. You know why. Also, I literally traveled through time. We now return to black <laughs> this screen, it's another like 20 minute render. <laughs> just for okay, that. Okay, I'm back in the raid. Summon me because I'm bougie though. Ooh, and the okay. trash has been cleared in my absence. All according to plan. Now, if I was to tell you that the next two encounters, Ebon Rock and Flame Gore, involve a lot of standing and a lot of hitting, would you think This is the. It is literally the easiest fucking. These are the easiest fucking bosses in general. Uh, some other chat being tried. Yeah, look, guys, can we not do this again today? Like, holy fuck. Oh, no. Can we not do it. <laughs> like. Nobody, nobody gives a shit. Like, can we just please not fucking do this shit? Like, yes, Barney is trans. I'm a girl.
You guys? Like, there's a male character, so sometimes I accidentally say he because I'm. That's okay. So here's the thing, guys. If you're Listen. ever confused, Barney Beekeeper, the rogue, is a boy. You know, and he uses he/him pronouns because he's a boy, and he identifies as a boy. Me, the creator, I'm a girl, and I will use he/him when I'm role playing as the beekeeper to talk about myself in character as a boy, because I'm an actor. <laughs> it's what I do, and it's really just that simple. I don't care about what your opinion about it is. W. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Dub. Please. Please. I just don't, like, literally nobody cares about what your take on people being trans is. So true. Just fucking my, Here's on, my take, guys. right? Just say you're attracted to me and move on along with everyone else, okay? Because really, that's what it comes down to, right? <laughs> Barney's not a, a guy, and Barney's not a girl either. Barney's a rogue. I'm a rogue. <laughs> What's th that's the best fucking thing about video games, is the fact that Barney is a rogue. Yes, the, the Barney character is a rogue. Shut the fuck up. Enjoy the story. Dub. Giga Chad. Me for jumping ahead. Oh, that's too far. Man, partial wipe the trash that's harder than the buses. What a Warcraft Imagine baby. That. How much longer do we have, Barnaby? <laughs> um, we Give got me. like mm -hmm. an hour, like two hours. Hit so that follow button if you want to support trans I mean, gaming. Uh, we're not gonna make it. <laughs> the next boss, Chromagus, is basically another one of those run-in, run-out fights. The only difference with this one is that there are random debuffs that will infect random players at random intervals. Four yep. of the five of these debuffs are completely negligible though, and don't really require a second thought since they'll just be purged off you. But if you are unlucky enough to receive the fifth debuff, the Bronze Affliction, you, you just use the sand. Yeah, it's the sand. It's in time. There is only one known. <laughs> <laughs> He's realized, he realizes it's like sand, but I'm sand. trying to kick the stuff, you know, so I'm, I'm okay to sit through the 10 minute deal. Oh, why? Would okay, you... well, that's good. I mean, one little bite can't hurt, right? I mean. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I gotta stop eating sand. Do you and... remember whenever they said at the beginning of the first video, don't eat the sand? Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, no. Oh Bell god, oh god, here see. we go. The Nefarian fight. Will this self-proclaimed casual guild see me through to a this red shot? Or will all. this be where Oh, thanks for those gifted sub ends. guys. Well, the main hero Sand. of the with with everyone who's like subbing and stuff and and donating and all that stuff, after we we're done watching Asmogold, watch my video. I'm gonna go through the list and I'll give everyone your shout out. So th thank you guys so much. Right, Lawyers, yeah, in yeah, the meantime, if you right click Benediction, it turns into anathema. Uh, me for it. So I'd say we're off to a good start. So okay. right click it again in your inventory. This, this is incredible. No, we just a half hour. Wait, she doesn't Bro, I told you guys, like classic players, as I said, big, slow, hairy, stupid woolly mammoths. And they're going extinct. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. It's so Ooh. true. <laughs> That's what it's like, right there. Hey. Guys, we're not gonna make it! So, and with uh, that said, Barnaby, this is your thing, so why don't you go talk uh -huh. to your boy? Oh, okay. Of course, no final boss of any raid would be complete yeah. without the arbitrary minutes of killing ads before the main guy even shows up, but this phase is incredibly simple and is definitely not caused to freak out. So I have no idea why the people in Discord were freaking out so much. In fact, was it was it Tip's raid that was wiping in phase one of BWL? Like, I remember seeing a video of a guild just becoming absolutely overwhelmed and overrun by these mobs. Wait, for real? It was so fucking funny. I, I have wiped on this fight, obviously, but I have never fucked up, like, phase one has never fucked, I've never seen, like, a wipe occur in phase one. That's insane. If they were freaking out so much, How I does that happen? of the entire raid, and when the casual guild <laughs> says clear comms, 
That's when you know things are bad. For those that don't oh, know no. this fight, once you kill 40 adds, Nefarian descends upon the raid and yep. covers the entire floor in fire. And if you're not wearing your Anixia cloak, you the die. fire will kill you in one shot. So tell me why the five minutes we spent doing loot prior to pulling the boss was not enough time for over half the raid to equip their Anixia cloaks? We're not gonna oh. make it. No, a lot of people will have cloaks on. I, I do that as well. Get behind the throne! Now, you can stand behind yeah. the throne when the fire goes out and this it's fine. will avoid being hit, but it's generally considered rat behavior because you lose a bunch of uptime. <laughs> Thankfully, though, we managed to get through the fire and the flames with zero casualties. Nefarian now lands, someone rips aggro, and I die for their fucking sins. Why don't you have battle shout? Because I'm a rogue. <laughs> Holy shit! I'm gonna reincarnate and I'm gonna start resing. What is this? What is this run? <laughs> We actually might not. <laughs> what started off as a sarcastic little joke no was now way. beginning to sound like my actual fate. Every time you wipe to Nefarian, you have to wait around 15 minutes for him to respawn. And as you know, I'm kind of on the clock here, so... Dude, if we don't make so it, I will us. get Barney B tattooed on my knuckles. Perfect. <laughs> well, now oh the stakes God. have never been higher. Or there's never been a better time to oh, throw this no. shit. Depending on who you're asking, of course. Me, what personally, I kind of want the mount. But who in any other game timeline, design? he was getting those knuckle tattoos. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, time's up. Let's do this. And really, Bye. by the way, can I just say, like, I love classic well, but yeah, this is offensive time-wasting design. This is the type of shit that pisses me off about World of Warcraft, no matter what expansion it is. The 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 just complete flippant non-concern for your time. Like, oh, you wiped? And not only are you like waiting for like all your stuff to come back up, but it's like Go fuck yourself. You have to wait 15 minutes arbitrarily to try the boss again. Like, what the fuck? Beekeeper. Please put your cloaks on. Please put your So we start the second okay. call. This time everyone in the raid is prepared with their own Just cloaks don't wipe. and we breeze through phase easy, one. Yeah. The tank is also generously Great. given the two seconds okay, required to take aggro Problem as the boss, solved. so things are actually looking good. Now let's talk about Nefarian's main mechanic. Every so often, Nefarian will target a specific class and do what's called a class call. This is Bro, the can I just come back real quick? I just want to go back real quick. Look how good the numbers look in Classic WoW. It is like busting a nut on your screen whenever you do a special attack and your auto attacks crit at the same time. Look Every so often, Nefarian Ooh. will target Ooh. a specific class He's and right. what's called a class Ooh. call. This is essentially some Look kind of no, debuff or joker's numbers. trick targeted at one Beautiful. specific class. And depending on your class, these can range from being the most minor inconvenience conceivable to being capable of causing the breakdown of the entire raid and a potential The gamers love big numbers. In the case numbers. of rogues, you get teleported in front of Nefarian and cannot move. You if just the tank around. doesn't react fast enough, this happens. And you oh, want to know the best yeah. part about this? There's literally zero counterplay on my part. Wow. <laughs> I can't do Amazing. anything about this. <laughs> I love when mechanics don't Fun test game. individual player ability and instead put your hands in the life of some other fucking schmuck. I'm actually uh -huh. not mad. I mean, okay, half the raid is dead, but this the is absolutely so easy. You can still we just have to play it. perfect and get really lucky on the next couple. Why are you behind the boss? Happen. Why are you behind? Nice. nice luck. We're gonna make it. Keep him up. New class call coming. He can do it. We're gonna be fucked. He can do it. He's got the shield. So <laughs> he can easily tank uh -oh. the fairy. Now, you guys want to know what's worse than one warrior call? Oh, I'll get to that in just it's a It's so easy. Because first, <laughs> I've got to tell you that if we get this boss to 20%, all the adds that we killed in phase one, mm -hmm. all 40 of them, respawn at the same time and charge the raid. So now let it's me What's the priest call? Uh, I think the than... priest call is you... If you heal someone, they take damage. I think? It's like every time you heal them, they get a dot on them or something? One warrior call. That's right. Two warrior calls, but there the second one happening during the final ad phase. And Bro, now I actually thought the warrior call was my favorite one because it gave me an excuse to go into Berserk. Go into Berserk stance, stance yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. Let this clip play out because it is so so difficult to make raiding sound interesting. Oh, there it is right there. True. Uh, I got him. Yep. Go go. Do you have shield wall? Perfect. Use it. No. no. Use shield wall. Okay. Use a right, stone buddy. shield. There you go, bud. <gasps> Come on, you can do it. Fire. There Jesus it is. <laughs> wow. Nope. Ten minute Don't fight. They that was somewhere in chat says that was what? tough. He Remember talked over it. Earlier, I left the raid oh, and joined another tough. party to get summoned oh. to Tenaris. Well, Psych. actually, that did nothing. I just love faking you guys out. It's just yeah. so easy every time. He talked you know, over it. Can't keep getting Sorry. away with it. Oh, I will. You're already in my web and you don't even know it yet. Wow, red shard acquired. Right, you ready? Three, what? two, one. Wow. My bait. Oh, hit that.
I love how everybody, every guild that raided in Classic WoW has a screenshot that looks just like that. I think I, I have cool. never taken screenshots like that before so then, pretty much. Yeah, the that we had that too. If you'll remember, we are currently looking for the three items he needs to try and make the Arcanite Bubble yeah. Blue. But as we found out earlier, his copy of Draconic for Dummies has been stolen, and a ransom note was left in its place. We've got your book, Gnome. If you ever want to see Bitch. it again, you'll do exactly as we ask. So alongside Bon Hoovy, Sarsis, <laughs> Merrills, and Darian, we head to the location detailed within the ransom note, and disguised as the engineer, I place a big bag of fake gold at the edge of a cliff. A few anxieties. Bro, like no shit. This, like y'all see. Riddled minutes this, later, this mob Dr. is really Evil hard to kill. Flying in on a Merrill's is the go. For this. real, why did they make it take five minutes for this guy to spawn in? The whole time we were waiting, I thought I fucked the quest up. I, I did swear, too. Every single quest in this quest line is specifically tailored to fuck with your mental. Anyway, the yes, doctor takes is. one look at our disguise and sees right through it. Who could have seen it's this? Doctor Weevil. He then summons a giant gorilla to kill us and escapes in his flying. This machine. gorilla is no joke. Rush and evasion and this is a big dick gorilla. Too. I figure with a healer, I can probably tank this no, for the duration you can't. of my evasion and then vanish the threat off to the warrior. Unfortunately for me, Blizzard's patented. It really emulates early 2000s internet. Spell bashing yeah. technology meant that I actually didn't cast vanish at all. I Surprise. lay dead in the snow like the <laughs> pathetic little gnome bitch I am as my team once again carries me to victory. If you'll remember, Merrills was the mage who helped me get my mallet of Zolfarak all those oh months ago. God. And here I am yet again with my content beholden to his kindness. A year I later. I couldn't do this without my friends. However, because Von Hoovy is a Druid, he is useless and isn't it just carrying works. resurrection materials. He is instead going oh to leave God. it up to chance with cables, as will Merrill's and Darian. Well, oh I think we God. know how this one goes. Yep. That's a that's an L. That's an L. We've got one more. Please. Thank God. I'm up. There it is. Merrill's then opens a portal Easy. to bluff for me, and I fly to the engineer in Tenaris to tell him that the plan failed. And also, because we didn't keep to our end of the ransom, Dr. Weevil has <laughs> obliterated the Draconic for Dummies book. Quest complete. What? So now our only option is to track down the last known surviving copy of Draconic for Dummies, which, because it's the Scarab Lord questline, has actually had all eight of its pages torn I spelt Stormwind wrong. Find all eight chapters. When I get the Stormwind chapter, just be on the lookout. I I, I actually actually put storm in <laughs> I can yeah. use this book binding to refashion the book. This questline's never gonna All on end, purpose, of course. Just one quick stop off in gadgets. Even at level 80, this took me like a month to do. Like, I was playing casually. I wasn't doing it like every day. But, it's intentional. Like, this took a really, really long time, even at level 80. It was insane. I can't imagine going back and doing this now. And to meet with this chef, quest complete, and to discuss the possibility of acquiring a fat chicken. He tells me no such chicken exists, but does clue us in on one Lord Lakmiran, a chimera who, with proper preparation, may or may not look like a 500 pound chicken. And whilst I'm here in Tenaris, I figure I may as well hand in the red shard to our good friend Anachronos, who once again rewards us with a completely useless piece of jewelry. Quest complete. What was that tweet? Wait, what was that tweet? Found the elusive Barney today, but he was in a scarab ward rush and didn't try to sell me a lucky charm sad face. <laughs> oh shit. I thought People it was a nice touch. Him down. I thought it was a nice touch. Chapter 7 acquired. Wow! Welcome. This to is Alcaz the hard Island. one. With the Blackwing Lair chapter safely obtained. Do y'all remember back in Classic WoW Beta whenever I went in and I tried to fight this boss and we brought like 300 people and he killed every single one of us? This boss this is, is hard. This is the boss. But he's hey, also super cheesable to too. Island to murder Dr. Weevil in cold Fuck blood. Him. After all, he's the reason this quest has become so long. I mean, True. because he has chapter one for some reason. Uh, two birds, one stone, if you ask me. However, Dr. Weevil is absolutely not a pushover. Even no. with a raid group he of 20, no he is still incredibly challenging due to his menacing mechanics and large health bar. Every and six or so controls seconds, people Dr. Too. Weevil stuns everyone in line of sight of him. And every 20 or so seconds, he mind controls a random ally who will now be out of commission for the remainder of the encounter. Now and I they have to be and CC too. Old they gain a to ton of extra health and everything. Narrative about Hi, how Vess. this boss was difficult to overcome, but rest assured, this will be the eleventh time we have destroyed Doctor Weevil, and we have become exceedingly efficient at it. There Chapter it is. Acquired. Also, lore tidbit: This is the island where Varian Rin was kept in prison. Yep, and down at the this bottom. This quest is the only thing they did with this location <laughs> in the game. Hey, Barney. You I actually me. didn't mind that. I wish there were more things in the game that just hey, existed Violi, for the, the sake of existing.
And it doesn't have to be like a massive quest line or anything like that. There just has to be like a couple of things. You know, like that panda isle that we went to yesterday? Varian Rin is the king of the alliance. He's like, uh, he's like, uh, if Thrall is like the Horde's leader, then Varian went, Rin is the, uh, is the alliances. But he's dead now. Yesterday on Lost Ark. He was. That was so fucking good. I'm ranch, right? Yeah, I have. Oh. Farming the Felgars. Rogue in the marsh at oh, Sunken Temple. the Acranius one. Big long quest. <laughs> I'm not doing this bit. Now you might be wondering why am I in a level 40 dungeon? Well, you see the yep. green shard was given to a one green fully clothed rogue Aranicus, in the marsh at Sunken Temple. Is big bitch. long like quest line. Evil, well, yes, it's yes, no it secret is. that Aranicus and his crew were driven insane by the very same old god they thought they had vanquished deep within the temple. But he has the green shard, so I'm not really left any choice. But as I enter Aranicus, there's chamber, no way. I'm not met with a shit. large green dragon, but oh, rather yeah. a shade and Malfurion storm rage. Malfurion informs me that Aranicus can't Whoa. be here right now because hey, he's can busy. I just say shout out to everyone watching? Uh, two thousand two hundred viewers. That's awesome, guys. If you're subbing and donating and all that good stuff, uh, I'm gonna give you guys shout outs after we're done watching this reaction. So I'm gonna go through the big list. So stick around, okay? I promise I'm not just absorbing your uh, goodwill and then I'm gonna dip. <laughs> Terrorizing the Emerald Dream, and if we want to Dude, get that, green I forgot shot, we'll all have to about summon this. Summon Aranicus from the Emerald Dream and purge Holy him of his shit. corruption. Now, do you want to see some fucking sweaty? Disgusting! I can't believe you even bothered to think this far ahead. Gameplay. Check out these summons. Bam! Random Teldrassil location to hand in this quest to the Wisp. Quest wow. complete. But wait, I'm not done. Follow up summon to the Shrine of oh. Romulus in Moonglade to hand that very same quest in immediately. Bro, this is 100%. This is. This is actually proof that Barney is the main character of the server. Straight up. Like, the actual main character of the server. It's that easy. <laughs> Quest complete. Any percent world record, yeah, by this the way. Is, I know it might not look like much right to you there. guys because, I mean, you're watching the video, right? It's all cut up and edited for you. But yes. every time you see me get summoned, these are pre-planned summon teams that real people have had to level up and yes. put their character in that position. Those just are so real people that probably are not getting paid for this. Gamers. Oh, they won. Imagine Fucking game. Fucking gay. So we're spread around Azeroth are these four emerald dream portals outside of which roam packs of elite green dragonkin. Except for the Duskwood one, but just forget about that one for now. To summon Aranicus back into our realm, we are going to they get paid in clout. a nightmare yeah. fragment from each area. Actually, cut the music. Cool. Fuck the script. I need a talk. I need a real talk. These nightmare fragments drop from the elite mobs that you can find outside the portals, right? And you think, cool, just go kill some elites. <laughs> but those are really hard <laughs> to kill, laughing. yeah. And this is where I make the music creep back in, okay? Game. No, of course it's not that easy. This is the Scarab Lord questline where every quest is specifically tailored to make you want to exit game. So here's the thing with this quest, right? We still to this day do not know the drop chance of the Nightmare Fragments. Me personally, I want to say it's 1%. Based on my experience, oh my I think God. it's 1%. Now, killing elites for a 1% drop is already fucking game. The, 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 it's not that bad. Like, the way that you do it, see, this is the thing. It is, is that just that the bad. way you farm. This was my least favorite part of the entire questline. These mobs are so fucking. You need a group. You need a group, and you need you need druids because you need to be able to hibernate or sleep the 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 dragonkin, and the the packs have strategies. Like you have to you have to kill them in like certain ways. Like these packs outside the Emerald Dream portals, they have more mechanics than like most trash in raids something like that that has a low drop chance is you do it one mob at a time you never go and try to do like 10 mobs at a time or you never try to think like how many it's going to take you kill one at a time yep one at a time yep one two three at a time the thing with these packs are, they actually require a small raid because they slap. Alliance players might not know this, but on the Horde side, you can people kite them all kite the way. These yes. These mobs from Ashenvale to Orgrimmar to just kill everyone in the city. But yep. wait, I'm still not done. I the wish I had a clip of someone doing that. that. You... And I know that I have recorded it, but I just couldn't find it. And I looked for so long. You kill all the packs and you so I had to rob drop. someone you else's video. You have to video. wait like an hour for the respawns. There are people Jesus in my guild Christ. that spent literally that days on just this part of the quest alone. What? It's not looking good so this is me and i'm in the undercity picking up draconic for jump dummies chapter four just do it thanks for watching wow damn 
originally this text said your mum gay, but I cut it. Oh. Chapter four, quiet. Well, well that's welcome. Good. Come, 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 come to the hinterlands. I grabbed literally anyone who was online and willing to help. And I feel like if you were able to get the Doctor Weevil one, I I think Barney's gonna get it. I think Barney's gonna get Scarabord. I'm pretty come. confident about it. Good. We may yeah. as well start come. here. And I think I'm gonna let this clip of our first pull just play out. You, it's, okay. it's a clip where you're like, you say something like, I fucking hate this game. By the way, first mob, first fucking fragment, let's go. Wow. <laughs> well, that was lucky. Or a terrible omen. There's something with me getting really, really Holy lucky. Holy shit. And then immediately getting first really, mob. really unlucky. Oh boy, there I it sure is. hope that doesn't happen here. And even though we don't have uh, summons to Feralis, I can just edit the video like, wow, it's like I got summoned. Now it's I wish crazy, I could right? tell you that I was lucky enough to get the drop on my first pull again. But yeah. it is with a shit eating grin that I can tell you it only took 20 minutes for me to drop my second fragment. Got it. 20 minutes is still really fucking good. Really, like, really unless it's good. it's taking you more than two hours to farm something, it's just casual shit. We're out of here. When I start, start, the I'm audio hiccups because of the corruption theme? No, because it's funny. Shop, and then I'm going to watch, I'm going to start playing. That's my plan. Listen, I, when I was young, my brain was infected with YouTube poops and you're the man now dog videos. And I have never found the cure and Sirs and Zhuzh and shit like that. Is permanently funny. We're going, After this. We're going to Ashley oh, Bale. Yeah. <laughs> it's terminal. Uh, and now I'm actually uh, not Took smiling for anymore some? because this then is just a, far more. for sure just a terrible omen. Also, I forgot to mention the reason I did the portals in this order was because currently right now in Ashen Vale, there's an alliance person on this quest line too. I had oh, initially so wanted fighting to him. be diplomatic about the situation, but with only 24 hours left. <laughs> Look, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's a dog eat dog world out there. Shush, man, shush. Okay. 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 Fuck. Fuck him. What a mistake. What a fucking mistake. Oh my god, what a mistake. They should not have done this. I, I guarantee this is gonna. Dude's legit AFK. Jeez. They could at least make it hard, like, at Damn. least make it fun. The Alliance had, as is customary around yeah. these parts, failed to put up any meaningful resistance. Oh, we took uh, the leader of their group hostage and told those motherfuckers Ashen Vale's closed. What is it? No. That's some bullshit. I don't want to hear about it, guys. <laughs> Miss me with that lying ass bullshit. Man, these guys really just took the fucking L, mm -hmm. huh? Like they sure still did. Still in corpse. They got their ass beat. Yeah, it's pretty sad, dude. Mm -hmm. It's been 45 minutes. As the Alliance lay molding in their corpses for, yes, like 45 minutes, we Jesus. took it upon ourselves to hit every single pack on respawn. But in yeah. fairness to the Alliance, they weren't the only ones molding. Just fucking, please, I, please dispel the root. Please it's fucking just... dispel the root, dude. It's so I bad. Need to tag it. Don't kill the thing. And you haven't tagged it's, it yet. It's so get dispelled. I it, root it again. I need one dispel. Oh god, it's so bad. <laughs> 40 seconds. It's so bad. It was bad. It was so Thank bad. Thank you. Listen, I hadn't slept in a very long time. So if I sound like a raid leader, my apologies. The good news is, even with my lack of sleep, I was able to get clips like this. The guy in the back. Let's get this guy. I'm gonna distract. Oh, so what an see. idiot. <laughs> Bro. That's why that I would always move with my distract. mouse, and I would move a little back and, <laughs> and forth. And it is with a huge ego, I get to tell you that the Alliance all left after that. Yeah, but of course. someone else showed up. Wait. <laughs> Frywood. The same Frywood who had just last week griefed me relentlessly, Frywood? The same Frywood who had to be camped into submission, Frywood? Frywood redemption arc, Frywood? I was skeptical, but at 2 a.m. server time, I will take anyone I can get. This is where Frywood whips a little out bit his desperate, ritual huh? of doom, which is basically the World of Warcraft equivalent of Russian roulette. I don't think yeah. I've ever seen this ability be used. Yeah, I don't think... Oh. Why me? Oh, Firewood's revenge. Well played. <laughs> Alas, the hand of fate would continue yep. to gesture towards me, the middle finger, as I found myself going dry on the Ashen Vale fragment, hour after hour, pack after pack, respawn after respawn. Oh my god. Worst of all, word spreads fast, and when you hear that the last remaining Scarab Lord is now 12 hours deep bottlenecked in Ashen Vale, why, that's the perfect time yep. for a 40-man alliance raid to pull up and kill that- I told you that shit was a mistake. 
I told you it was a fucking mistake because people were going to send all of the guys over because they know that they can fuck your ass by doing that, man. A hundred fucking percent. Like, I, I, like, trust me, guys. Diplomacy is always the better option. Last little bit of hope you have left. They went to but they didn't know who they were yep. griefing. My busy bee you guys don't need to feel bad about me griefing the Scarab Lord guy on the Alliance because he's now in prison for unspeakable crimes. These are everywhere. You think just I wasn't going to grief out? you. Yeah, True story. Fuck out of there just as the raid showed up. Nice try, bitch. <laughs> Next time, don't pick the one person who's always numbers steps ahead. Well, yeah, it's not even a joke. Molten core. So the plan was always that if we got griefed at Ashenvale, we would just do make a beeline straight for Molten Core. Like, so what think, are they going to do? I think Ragnaros has one of the pages. I can try and get my goggles whilst the heat dies down. We have 12 hours left, right. by the way. Also, I just want to say something really quickly to the people that might be concerned about my uh, health, like in real life. During the time in which we were in Ashenvale waiting for respawns, I would spend those like 45 minute intervals i'm not explaining shit desk, i'll tell you that that's what so that is the reality i'm not that, but nothing more thing. i would lay down, i won't say it on like, stream I, had, I was actually this that chair right there that shitty chair with only one arm on it the i i the arm fell off and i would lay down in a chair and take like mini naps yeah. in between wipes and karazan back in the day at like four in the morning and I would leave my headphones on because we'd wipe a nether spider or something like that. And it would take everybody like 30 minutes to get back. So I could have like five mini naps. XBFF dropped the goggles somewhere in yeah. here. And what that means for us as players is the goggles drop from trash. And it's like a 20% drop chance. Go fuck yourself. But everything will be okay because I have my lucky charm. No, not this thing. I mean this guy. Accidentals. Let me tell you a little story about accidentals. So like two weeks ago, I'm doing this exact same trash farm for someone else's goggles. And we go like three full hours of just killing every single mob in Molten Core with no luck. I'm talking several resets of Molten Core. Like, like no bosses, just trash. Like, you don't even get to come. But as soon as we invite Axie, wow. And trust me when I tell you, I've got a good eye for, like, lucky things, right? That's, okay. like, my whole bit. So we start yeah, pulling trash at noon. And come. <laughs> five minutes later. All right. Great. Problem I solved. Way, I'm gonna say, it once again, say it. Hey, hey, this was my ID, Barney. I know. I Listen, I said you were going to be How my, about good that? Little, little, my little good luck charm. Now, could you it's bring just that, that easy, boys. Please? The goggles had been a piece of cake. Terrible oh. omen. So it was back to hitting our heads against the brick wall that is Ashenvale. We just had keep just farming. spent 12 uninterrupted hours there. But going forward, yeah, just I would farming. need to move around the map as if I'm being pursued by a large raid. Which, by the way, as I if. am. Word on the street yeah. is that they are waiting right now outside of this very molten core in preparation for us to reset the trash so they'll never see it coming if i get summoned to ashenvale to kill all the packs that have in the meantime respawn still no fragment by the way and then fly to oh winter my spring. god why winter spring you ask because your bitch want to spring on this day because i can kill <laughs> demons in winter spring to try and get chapter oh, three yeah to but you the real get reason i'm doing this is i want to bait the alliance raid away from ashenvale so that when respawns are back up i can you just, just get, su get summoned right them. back over and once yeah. again just as the alliance were pulling up on my location this game of cat and mouse had oh grown my so God. fun for me that I wasn't even bothered by the fact oh we went my another God. entire this is cycle so ridiculous. with no drop. Nine hours remain, and here's I where I execute this. my most dastardly bamboozle yet. I went straight back What's to Winter that? Spring. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Chapter Wow! So I took a summon right back you to are so close. despite the fact that there were no spawns, <laughs> oh, uh, just to fuck with the alliance really. But as soon as that first pack did you respawn, so fucking close. I'm gonna get square next. I got the fragment. Let's fucking go, guys! Let's do it! Uh, sorry. Oh, wow, that hurt my ears. I'm so sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to scream. There you go. Eight hours remain. <laughs> Ashenvale had stolen 15 hours from me, but no I, more. As I said, it's not eight hours. It's more than that because you have extra time. You have extra yes, time. Yes, but they're to not supposed to know and, uh, that, Asmongold. <laughs> The countdown doesn't sound nearly as impressive and close if you go, yeah, and then there's another eight hours after that countdown. After the first person hits it. You have eight more oh, hours. My green dragon farm had come to an end, and I was ready to get that. No fun allowed. Yep. With the alliance closing in on our my narrative, something no horde player would ever do. Portal to Thunderbluff. Genius mix that up. Is, this yeah, also let me take some meat out of Why the bank that I prepared that? earlier, like literally a year ago. I need twenty total for the quest, but I'll get three later. A few of us were then summoned to the Isle of Dread uh -huh. in Feralis to kill the unique Chimera Elite oh, Lord yeah. Lacmiran, and it is now later. Yeah. See how efficient I am? Yeah, I like got that. the corpse of Lord Lacmiran <sighs> and the rest it? of the meat that I needed in one kill. The you like lightning entertain? shield. I've been him. planning yeah. this for years. Also, the Holy alliance raid saw that we. That mini boss is actually difficult. If you're a melee, 
uh, you pretty much just don't really get to DPS unless you're being like super overhealed like all the time. Because he has a lightning shield that just like reflects damage and just zaps you. We were in Feralis and pulled up thinking we were at the uh, Green Dragons. But they weren't. <laughs> no one's there. Hell. By the time they figured out what we do it, hell. what we were doing, it was already too late. We had half to Kargat Fuck and started making the journey south to the Tainted Scar. It is here These that mobs I would get were chapter really hard two on to kill. the... And I, I know it seems like I'm, I'm, I've like scripted this, but I got chapter two on the first pull. <laughs> Guys? Let's yeah. get out of here. <laughs> yeah, Chapter 2 acquired. Next up, the Duskwood Nightmare. Oh my Fragment. god. To conquer the challenge that lay before me, I would need to this time gather a Which full one was raid. This? Because unlike the other Nightmare Fragments, this last fragment is dropped by a unique boss that can only be summoned oh, by this quest. Man. However, I can't just be standing around Bro, and Bro, I remember that guy used to, he used to do like a mind control or something like that. I had my mom off heal me. Whenever I did that boss. I think it's so cool like, that Asmongold got to like come up playing WoW with his mom. That's so cool. Like way off in the distance and then she would move out of range of the mind control to top me off and then run away. Hey, thanks for Dude. those bits, Conkers. Oh my god, that's so crazy. It's like that was literally like fucking, what was that, 12, 13 years ago? Wow. Squid giving away our position, summoning God, people. My mom commented. My mom commented on my most recent videos, though. Her and my dad watched it on like their TV, and they have no idea what the fuck gaming is. Like they, can you imagine watching my videos if you have like zero concept of like the internet or like technology at all? It must just be like a fever dream. <laughs> This boss we're about to fight is incredibly griefable. Much like a world boss, if you die to the It's like showing a Victorian child a phone. Size and, strength, and because this boss actually hits hard, one death is all it can take for the encounter to quickly spiral out of control. Holy if shit. the Alliance show up here in Duskwood, it is absolutely GG no re for my Scarab Lord because they will be able to just endlessly sacrifice themselves to the boss to ensure we can never kill him. Oh, now no. more than ever, I need to be stealthy. Now more than ever, I need to be unpredictable. Now more than ever, I need to be a rogue. Ow. Okay. <laughs> and God, I fucking love being a rogue. Because you already know I figured out exactly what we're gonna do. World buff alert. Is putting a fake world buff notice in the world buff discord immoral? I'll let you decide. But I no. did what needed to be done because if the Alliance, who are definitely stalking this discord, see no, that we are not. dropping a heart, they will probably assume Don't that we are about to go raiding. And because I still do actually need to kill Anixia and Ragnaros on this quest line, it's the perfect plan. They think we're meeting up here to get a buff and then fly to Molten Core, but actually we're just gonna walk into Duskwood. I'm a genius. See? This is where you <laughs> The it. subterfuge of this and just like all of the mind games make it so much better. Holy now, shit. If, uh, Shaman, love you or not. Yeah, it's just, it's so sweaty <laughs> yeah, for no reason. 10 minutes to buff everyone with the same shit. It's so good. Hi, Mallory. <laughs> I love the one, guy, the, the one guy who shows up and says, Do we have timer on the heart? Like, w like at least one person showed up thinking that there was actually going to be a fucking buff, and then we all just walked away. <laughs> and get a buff. That sucks. We had broken into Duskwood, and the Alliance slash hooing me would know exactly what we were getting up to. And yep. with Duskwood being so close to Stormwind, we had just shy of 10 minutes to kill this boss and get out. Or it's done for. And I know that it might look like I'm just standing still here, but the boss starts spawning the moment I walk into the next subzone. So here, I'm waiting for my raid to get in position, because oh. trust me, I've done this boss 10 times now. So outside of the getting larger mechanic, which I he also does the earlier, mind control. this boss basically does two things. The first move, which he spams. I think so, right? Away and applies a dot that cannot be dispelled. And the second move is just a mind control. Yes. Yeah, just throw in a mind control. If you haven't already been able to tell yet, the main way we deal with this boss is to pull him back to this pillar, which lets the caster's line of sight and the tanks don't have to worry about getting knocked away. That's why I remember I, I had to solo the boss at level 80 is because if I did it with a group, people would get MC'd and they would kill me. That's a problem for the melee. And yeah, I'd like to say you can't even will of the boss, forsaken the yeah, mind control. The time it's a I red mind thing. control. Anything there. short of a perfect pull would just be embarrassing. This boss has also less imagine. health. This than is how rag. people talk about classic WoW, like you don't just stand and hit. Yeah.
That's all. Only four minutes had passed since we first entered That's Duskwood, it. but that was all the time we needed to get there the fragment is. and get out. The Alliance raid had been thwarted once more, but I made no efforts to disguise our next move. In fact, of all the places we could have gone next, I picked the most obvious because I'm disrespectful like that. Welcome to Moonblade. Buy my merch. With all four Nightmare Fragments right. gathered, quest complete, it oh, was time to the summon green Eradicus dragon. from the Emerald Dream and purge yeah. him of his corruption once and for all. As we walk up to town alongside Remulus, I'm oh, going shit. to take this time to go over the I decided I was going to do that meme like when I was recording it. I was like, lines, yeah, it's like the I've Putin meme. Ten times already. So this fight has two phases. In phase one, shades continually spawn oh and run God. at literally whoever, doing tons I think you of get damage fear and AoE shadow bolts. Oh, and they can also AoE fear. Our strat is to hide inside this building out of line of sight so they're more likely to target the town guard oh so you can God. DPS them down in more manageable numbers. Oh, and yeah, you occasionally get like a big dude. So that's phase one. If you haven't wiped to shades after a random... Dude, this is, I can't believe they added all of this into the game, and it was only for the opening of the gates. This is this was just such a cool so thing. So true. Man. Th this the quest line time, is like the equivalent of me making this video. It was so needlessly detailed, and and like so much passion went into cre creating it, and it wouldn't happen today. Phase two. How'd you get the third oh, person footage? Just... Well, I stood. I literally stood in another building and just filmed them doing the fight on one of the encounters, because, guys, I did this 11 times. And actually, I did Aranicus closer to 18 times because I helped a bunch of others. I, like, if a Horde Scarab Lord target needed people, I would help. Like, Bro, okay, and drop, Aranicus just, descends know, from I'll the watch sky. It and here, it is my... P I was there for, like, the Hand of Lordaeron Aranicus kill, the Stony Tark Aranicus kill, all of the Goof Aranicus kills, I think. Pleasure to get to show you this world. Of so for this one, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna stand back and film. Exclusive dragon fight. Wow. Where you stand and hit. And hit. Oh, there it is. Come up with this. Around 20% health, a role it's play will easy. begin. And during this, you can actually kill Aranicus if you really want to. But you're yeah. meant to wait so that he turns green and the quest completes. So you know, like if you were well, an enemy him. raid looking to grief, you would maybe want to kill the dragon. Yeah. So that's the encounter we're about to start. After a short role play where the bad guy, you know, says the line, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you all," and then we're like, yeah, "No, course. Aranicus, we're gonna purge you of your corruption, bitch." Combat begins. Okay, everybody just gets behind there. It seems easy enough. Yeah, this was always okay. an easy Shades boss. <laughs> it was never a struggle it's at RNG. all. Yeah. Now, because we were pretty sure if I die, the quest fails, it was in my best interest that, for as long as possible, I should sit in the corner and do nothing. E, e, said the Alliance Spire from behind us. By the way, this is a neutral zone, so if any PvP breaks out, the Town Guards will swiftly yeah, put the Yeah, they just attack everybody. But I, I don't, do I thought sit the Town Guards here weren't that powerful. RNG in Phase 1 was I don't good, remember. and everything was going pretty good. Until it didn't. Yeah, it's about right. This was a certified not good moment. I would now have to walk back down to Remulus, restart the escort, and try again. And yes. we really didn't have this time to spare. As I started the RP for a second time, the Alliance dogs began to summon their raid of griefers right in front of oh. me, taunting me. And they thought they were so smart too. Oh look, you can't attack us. Well, guess what? If you're showing up to grief an encounter where part of the encounter is that shades will run to the closest person within line of sight, you probably Sounds don't want to summon your fucking team of morons where the shades spawn. You were so close to catching me too. Off screen, the alliance oh, summoners no. die molding as they are the ravaged stupid by fucking shades. Alliance. This buys us time to get into yeah, a favorable position from which we are able to secure a smooth phase one. So, fits. really, I should be thanking the alliance. Like, really, I cannot understate just how useful it was to have like six or seven bozos just die outside. After a few minutes of killing shades, Aranicus descends yeah. and we get to experience some yeah, unintentional collusion. Gameplay. Wow. I have never seen anything like this before. Let's do it, boys. Aranicus. Just Dragon keep killing them. On that note, uh, hey, thanks for the five gifted. As my team starts heading towards the Nixia's oh, lair, I walk back Dude, to Red Lister Hand in the quest. Quest complete. Wow, green shard acquired. I'm gonna shout out all the subs and donos and stuff after I've done watching this. But thank you all so much. I really, really uh, appreciate it. Barney's gonna be able to do it. I didn't see coming. Blah, 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 blah. Blah. I'm telling you guys, like, there's no shot that Barney doesn't do it. There's no shot. Like this is the easiest. Like this is. Every hard challenge has already been beaten. Nixia's yeah. lab. Remind yourself though, raids reset in literally a few hours. Finding yep. people not yet locked to a Nixia was proving to be difficult. What? And it seemed getting a full 40-man like raid anyway. together Doesn't for this matter. particular fight was going to be out of the question. 23 was the number of valiant Good heroes enough. that would journey with me totally into the dragon's fine. lair. A departure from the recommended 40 to be certain. More than this enough. This fight is a marathon, not a sprint. If we all play like the smart genius gamers I know we are, this should be a piece of cake. 
Okay, I listen the fuck you. up. Okay. I'm gonna DPS very, very slowly. <laughs> now, and by slowly, oh I mean God. fucking slowly. Okay. If you get aggro, it means you're gonna lose 50 DK. Okay, you know what the fuck to dude. Do. And watch the fucking tail. Six hours left. It's so easy, and Nixia is the easiest boss in the game. You know what I like about Classic? It doesn't matter how long you've played the game, what gear you have, or what bosses you have on farm. All it takes is for one greedy button press into a taunt resist, and now the mage has aggro. Good luck oh, fixing God. it, and watch the fucking tail. Oh, oh my God. Um, no way, they're gonna... Major, major. Many whelps! Left side, oh my handle it. God, what are they doing? To say that. So we handle the whelps and then slowly take Anixia through phase what one. What are they where doing? You... They hit a net. Once she dips below 60% so health, easy. she transitions into phase two, where she flies up into the air and starts launching fireballs. This might be my favorite segment. Phase, only the ranged can hit her, and given that we only have seven ranged and she stays up there till 40%, Sounds this like is going to be a time. very long air phase. Also, Breath, I feel like I'm missing three people something. die. Think... Wait, if she stays up in the air, doesn't she start like covering the ground? Ah! I knew I was forgetting something. And it wasn't yeah. just me. Some of us were so used yeah. to this boss being dead already that we completely forgot she actually has mechanics and a moveset. What a walk I never learned how to do the Anixia breath. Because I always Because you don't need and I had to. so much health, I would just get healed. It wouldn't kill me. You just don't it's need to. It's one of those to. funny Problem games solved. where the better you become at the game, the worse you actually become at the game. And yes. if that doesn't make sense to you, it's because you're bad. But that's a good thing, I promise. Ignorance is bliss. Ignorance is truly bliss. Do you think my WoW logs make me happy? Do you think raiding <laughs> makes me happy? I hope Listen not. Up. There is no joy to be had from mastering World of Warcraft, okay? There is only pain. Nevertheless, we pushed through the longest phase two of my entire life. Six people had perished, leaving only 17 that's of fine. us to finish phase that's three. Fine. And actually, Withers has aggro, so uh, let's make that Oh, the mage has aggro. Phase that's three. great. Of fear, by the way, and watch the fucking tail. But as I said Ooh. earlier, this fight is a marathon, not a sprint. And even with no world buffs, even with ten people it dead, it doesn't and matter. Even when I rip aggro it, at the last second, it does not matter. Try to turn the boss to tail swipe the raid. Okay, well, what's the fucking tail? <laughs> this fight was. Oh my god! <laughs> got him! <laughs> fucking got him! I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. At the end, there, I was like. My evasion is up. <laughs> chapter, chapter, right I there. Take that. <laughs> All righty. The fucking tail, guys. Chapter six acquired. Two bags. It's as they say, scuffed equals stuff, which is why I find it no surprise. K Bay rolled a one hundred. That's After a good all, roll. Is there anything more scuffed than two the bags? Be weird to my benediction. I dished out the loot and then it was off to Tanaris to cash in on some dopamine points. I gave okay. the goblin my meat, quest complete, Easy. and then he says he needs some salt and rocket fuel, I which I, I got already this. have. Quest complete. He then gives us a fat chicken, which we hand in to the engineer right. immediately. Quest complete. And we also hand in the goggles from Molten Core. Right. Speaking of Molten Core, and Ragnaros has a turban. draconic for dummies chapter I need, and it is nearly seven server time. The Winter Court had once again agreed it's to let fine. me reach their raid because I'm just such a nice person. You put uh, KB on blast? No, it's not on blast. It's insufferable. All in good fun. <laughs> Man, look at all this great Ooh, big striker. Yeah. I understand why Final Boss recruited Barnaby at this point. Why? Because you bring the loot. I have a double gut goal <laughs> ripper. Lay, yeah, lay see, it's a curse. You don't get shit. Yeah, I don't oh. get the money. <laughs> now, I'm not going to try and conjure content where there is none to be found, okay. because the truth is, this entire game is core was just an incredibly standard ordeal. Outside of the loot being really good, there really is wow. nothing to talk about, because, you know, it's multi. Do you guys remember whenever uh, I did that run on my Warlock, who was level 51? for Molten Core, <laughs> and the Talisman of Ephemeral Power dropped, and I looted it to my level 51 Warlock over all of the other mages and Warlocks in the raid. Do you remember that? Yeah. Whoa, we've nearly got 3,000 <laughs> viewers. That's crazy. Thanks for tuning and, and in, guys. And then I got the Mage Blade, too. <laughs> and the Mage Blade dropped, and I looted it to a level 51 Warlock to myself. And then I finally got the character, uh, leveled all the way to 60, and then I never played it again. I cool. put on all yeah, the gear and I never played it again. No. <laughs> Problem uh, solved. Right in combat, so I actually Ninja can't. Those were the good days, guys. Oh, yeah. Actually, none of our rogues need it. You're welcome. I'm gonna take okay. traditions and Those were the good days. For dummies. That's actually all I came for. And fuck your I didn't react to him watching the first part, no, I watched it, like, alone. Okay. <laughs> They got from the very Listen, start. Funny joke, right? <laughs> British Barney actually has over 12 hours left. Over 12 hours. There's no Spoiling. way this isn't going to happen. Spoiling. Spoiling. Drops, though. No Someone's way. Up there. 
taunting me. You think 100% this is so it's going to happen. Don't you? Chapter 8 acquired. It's all, all right, all right. Locked more. away deep within the Stormwind library sits chapter it's 5 so of Dragon My suspense! The final chapter I need to finish my Just tone. go get but it. Yeah, he's too smart for the narrative. He knows too much. Move. Just go get simply it. Stealth into Stormwind. Thanks, and Lily, for that drawing. Honest, I've never even been there before. Like, I, I wouldn't even know where to go. But I do know someone that does. Meet Eddie. And where do I even begin with it? Buffering? They got that Texas internet. What? Uh, uh, I didn't. I, I didn't f. Did I? Guys. The fuck? Take five. Give me a second. <laughs> no, no way. This is. Yeah. Happening. What is this? The YouTube premiere for this video? It's just YouTube player sucking. Uh, I see that. <laughs> what is this? What the fuck? Try and open it up on another frame? Frame. Give me a second, guys. Asmogol has too many tabs open, by the way. That stresses me out. Any more than five and I'm, like, panicking. What the fuck? Restart browser? Even begin with Eddie, huh? There so the go. thing with Whoa, Eddie is that's he quality. doesn't really understand and that he's not human anymore. Arthur's kind of that like... so weird. It's Rewind. Rewind. 144p. Why? Why this is guy, this happening? This uh, guy marinate in the ground a little too long before raising him, and so okay. with only like half a brain, he doesn't really get it. He the doesn't quality really get will the improve in a thing. But that's okay because he's Don't harmless worry about it. and adorable. Look at this little guy. Long ago, the Horde and the Alliance of Grobulus came to an agreement that mm -hmm. Eddie would be free to live and fish in Stormwind unbothered. Since, can we please just let something yeah, pure exist for wow once? So who okay. better to escort me through Stormwind than the one undead no Alliance yeah. wants to kill? The one undead who has true diplomatic immunity. Okay, roleplay server, don't fail me now. Okay. Library. I announced in human as I walked across the bridge into Stormwind City. Where is the library? Oh my god, what are you doing, Barney? Too. It was here that Eddie shows me a neat Stormwind trick. If you wave to the guards, they are legally obligated to stop pursuing you and wave back. By what spamming a wave macro, you can effectively stun lock guards until you leave their aggro radius. This doesn't work on patrollers, though, so keep that in mind as we approach. I wonder who the first person who figured that out was. Y you know what I mean? Like, I really do. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> wow. The city entrance, we had gathered quite the crowd, but stealth was never an option, so we just have to hope for the best here. Where is the library? Eddie asked again as he was approached by a swarm of guards that not even the greatest Osu legend would be able to wave macro into submission. I barely had enough time to utter library before we were both doing? forced to take a quick nap. So rude. Just fly know, in. Right? I'm just trying just to acquire fly knowledge. In. Two perfectly normal just humans fly. having a stroll through Stormwind. Take fly you? We come back. Bearing no ill will. Asserted Eddie as we woke back up in Stormwind. Oh my god, real Janie? Library? We only seek your knowledge. Library? Where is the library? Library? I was then assassinated by an off-screen menace for being annoying, Barney's I suspect. Barney's <laughs> No! At least they left Eddie alive. And he's the main character oh in all this. Oh my god, it's Barney's his Stormwind. throwing. We're just stealthing through it. Speaking oh of, god. I somehow managed to stealth through the trade district and reconvene with Eddie in the canals. Oh my god. Hello. Library? Could you leave? Ladies, guide us to the library. Library? Library. Oh my god, they understand. Yes. Eddie proclaimed. Where is it? Mordrina beckons this us over it. and it's starts over. leading us somewhere. Are these night elves bothering you fine humans? I said no yes. as Eddie responded. They seem nice. Wish I could say the same for the racist guards. <laughs> I said to Eddie as we waited in the canals oh, for the, the heat to die beast. down. You know I've drowned people in here. That never happened. It did. I just can't be bothered to find the footage right now. Library, here we Come. Going into this, it's I didn't know what I to solo, expect, uh, but if you told me so that I would have a considerable alliance entourage escorting me to the library, I would have said, yeah, right, at what point do they slit my throat? But here we are, just taking a nice leisurely stroll through the I middle. don't believe it. I, I do <laughs> not believe this. Like, I, there's no way Barney gets in, gets the thing, and leaves. There's no way. <laughs> somebody is going to somebody is going to fuck it there's up there's always one there a is always later, one we uh -uh. arrived at the I, I where i was it. met with multiple guards and some fucking dweeb named brungus <laughs> Fucking Brungus and Brung. Fucking, I do it. Brungus <laughs> be man. a warrior. Brungus is holding it's down the fort. It's always a warrior. Brungus is keeping up the spirit uh, of the alliance. 
Okay, he's not gonna. He's not into that cross faction collusion <laughs> like, bullshit. He's out there to really fight and go to war. Just cut me down just before I managed to collect the chapter two. The bastard. But he wasn't gonna get me a second time. I revived, popped a limited invulnerability potion, and enjoyed my five seconds of invulnerability as I collected the final chapter oh of Draconic for Dummies. And you okay. cannot kill me in a way that matters now, Brungus. It's you over, Brungus. Brungle bitch. Stormin's library. <laughs> Chapters acquired. You got and it! And so ended the first of many adventures with Eddie. The latter I'm sure you will never see because I'm already over my one video per year quota. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel that though? That chill in the air? Something's not right. Storm in! to Tenaris, I couldn't help but sense an unsettling aura on the wind. I had just literally walked into Stormwind and obtained the final chapter with barely any resistance. Where was the Raid of Griefers? They didn't even show up. Oh, Maybe they'll no. jump me at the Engineer, I thought, as I pulled up to finally hand in a completed oh, Draconic no. for Dummies. Quest complete? Are there was nary airlines to be seen. This is the part of the questline where the Engineer informs us that he is 99% certain he can create oh, the God. Arcanite Bubba Buoy. If he gets a few more items. <laughs> but don't worry, these are all items I prepared earlier. In yeah, fact, yeah. this exact quest is why for months, yeah. even you had that bug farming, I was deep in the hives of Silithus farming rich thorium There beans. you go. And I didn't care who I had to step on to get to Lame, them. Bro. Something was going to stop me from getting Thanks, scarab, bro. it sure as fuck wasn't going to be RNG gems from mining nodes. Quest complete. <laughs> and finally, I obtained my Arcanite. Baba boy. With one last boss to go and the Alliance Griefers nowhere to be seen, I took my summon to Azshara with a great big smile. That mount is so close I can oh, taste yeah, it. Moss. And then I looked to my left. I forgot about this part. Oh no! Holy shit! <laughs> no, no, no. Oh! Oh no! In the final hours! It's a battle in the water. The underwater combat. <laughs> the best Jesus way to Christ. They'll win. They'll win. It's just Mage's oh, Arcane Explosion egg. Well, no. they're dead! Stupid Get idiot. their insignia! What the fuck were they thinking? The Alliance, as is customary and around these is. parts, had completely failed to put a dent in our magnificent Horde War Machine. I remember he I was bigger the back Arcanite in the day. Baba Booey and some nah, he was bigger. swallowed the blue scepter They made him smaller and, and where, classic. Right wow. on time, the healers way fall asleep. Bigger. He grows. He gets bigger. Look at that, dude. Just like Kazakh. Oh, exactly, right, just like Kazakh. Come on. He's gonna eat on. me! Oh my god! Oh, I already did! Oh, oh. No way you're gonna wipe on this boss. No kill him. way. Kill him. It's, kill him. it's impossible. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. It's impossible. Kill him. Nobody can wipe on this boss. Fuck him up. Fuck it up. Hey! Get him. There it is. Holy shit. Get a combat res on Barney. Get a combat res on Barney B. That yeah, can was... we get a combat res on Bonnie B, guys? Wow! Blue shot acquired! There it is! Barney, go to Anachronos now before he gets fucking griefed. Oh Where my god. Going? Yeah, thanks for that pearl of wisdom. Like, where else was I gonna go? Because oh now that god. I had collected all three scepter shards, Talk it was him. time to pay Anachronos one final visit. I handed in the green shard. Do it faster. I handed in the blue shard. Do it, complete. come on, please. I am the might of Kalimdor. Quest yes. complete with a scepter yes. of the shifting sand. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you're probably wondering, but wait, doesn't that mean you get the mount? We're getting to that. We're getting to that. Just hold on, okay? No. The story's not over. The perceptive oh. among you will have noticed that there are <laughs> Bro, still- Bro, like, this is the worst thing, is whenever the good ending happens, and you look at the length of the movie, <laughs> and you see it's not over. <laughs> A few quests to go. These take place oh, in Silithus no. and unlock at midnight after a brief server restart. This is the countdown that I've been referencing the whole video. And so, with 30 minutes to spare, I made it to the Scarab Gong, sipped my petrification potion to prevent getting griefed when I logged back in, and logged off. Smart. Five hours later. Hello? Okay. Harang it. <laughs> Nobody's right. No one. Ring there it. is no capacity. To, nobody can it's ring it. The entire area is like this. Ring it. So what? yeah, the servers were so laggy in Silithus. <laughs> Sorry, I'm watching the footage. It's so. <laughs> what else was gonna happen? Oh, I have to laugh. Uh, if I don't laugh, I'll cry. At the mercy of the Blizzard servers, we stood before the gong for hours on end, with the monotony only broken up by the occasional reveal that, hey, you've actually been dead this whole time. <laughs> and then, as I waited beyond death's wispy veil no. for a res that I definitely clicked like five minutes ago. No! <laughs> 
no. Fuzi of Final Boss had rung the gong. It was Fuzi! Fuzi! If you didn't expect this to happen, I don't know what world you're living in. Finally, get the fuck out of this place. But if you think that means things are gonna start just getting any less laggier, you are wrong. We are literally just getting started, actually, oh because now the war event begins. But let's just do this bit first because I don't want to end on an anticlimax, and we need to get to this part at some point. So oh God. And this is the part of the video that like I just have really not wanted to do, and I really don't even want to fucking record it to be honest. If I sound no salty, way. it is what it is. Um, so this is the part. No where, fucking way. Uh, as you can tell, my no fucking story way comes to an end. No, I don't lag. believe it. No. I was lying when I no. said I didn't just no. spend the last 18 or so no months with way. in my no. bank. And it's so lame to blame someone else like when you fuck up, right? But like it's 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 because of no. it's fucking stupid ass, laggy ass. Oh, come on. You thought that was how it was going to end? Do you guys not know me at all? What did I say? You're already in my web. You just don't know it yet. I can do anything I put my mind to because my mind would not put me to do things I can't. And because of this, I'm a Scarab Lord. Quest complete. And I kept it secret this whole time. Got him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you want to know how I did it? You want to know how I streamed every day without you guys ever seeing the yes. fucking mount? It really wasn't in my bank because I deleted, deleted it. <laughs> and then I've just been like uh, restoring it every six weeks using item restoration. But yeah, uh, get owned. Oh, I can see it now. Yes, oh my I God. did get Scarab Lord. Yes, I do have the mount. Oh I'm my swag God. as hell. <laughs> and I kept it secret from all of you this whole time. But now, if I may, I'd what? like to say a few words. You see, I did this entire oh. quest line 11 times. <laughs> so I'm kind of like a Scarab Lord 11 yes. times over when you really think about it. 11 full Scarab yes. Lord quest lines. I was there. For all of them. If we weren't doing a quest, I was in Silithus farming. Except for the peaceful DKP. And that's not even mentioning the wipes and the failed attempts that we had on some of these quests. So let's just get one thing straight. Oh I'm not just God. a Scarab Lord. I'm the Scarab Lord. No one suffered more than me on this quest lane. Oh, you think you did? I've spent every day for the past 18 months looking at footage of Silithus. Oh, looking at footage. It wasn't enough that I did this fucking s the quest line 11 times over. I had to keep reliving it every single day for two years. I had to watch footage of me doing the quest line for two years. <laughs> of this quest line. Did you? No. So it is only appropriate that I use my unique position as both a record holding player and deranged content creator to make the following ask. Fair. Blizzard, you gotta make the fucking mount fly, man. Please, Blizzard, please, 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 please. <laughs> the people who would be against this are people who are butthurt that they didn't get the mount. And like, fuck those people. Do it. I have the mount. <laughs> I wanted to fly. Wrath of the Lich King is my Lord favorite, favorite expansion. And oh, we know you're gonna do Wrath of the Lich King Classic. So please let me fly on my Scarab Lord mount in Wrath of the Lich King oh Classic. I would, I would be so happy. In conclusion, Please. Okay, enough begging. It's time to move store. on to the next part of the quest. Well, you thought that we were done just because I got the mount? Yeah, yeah me too. Get, Shit. No, it turns out there is one more quest left. However, it's not available for completion until after the 10-hour war. What's the 10-hour war, you ask? Well, whilst I do believe that it is far too late in the video now to start doing more exposition, now that the gates of Ankaraj oh are open, God. the horrors locked away 1,000 years ago have once again been set loose on Silithus and the world of Warcraft. All around the map, resonating crystals will emerge from the terrain, bringing Karaji invasions with them. If you push back enough ads, eventually a unique mob will spawn who, when killed, can drop incredibly rare bind on equip gear, yep. like Tibu's Blazing Longsword or yep. Alcor's Sunraiser. But not oh, just that. this. Three Colossi <laughs> will also spawn in Silithus, yep. one per hive. And they are fucking huge, by the way. The biggest creatures in the game by far. And fighting yeah. these titans is no joke either, because every so often they do this. <laughs> also, Whoa. We couldn't even like kill these mobs properly because this it was so fucking laggy that like no one could like tank it like properly. Like no one could do their rotation properly because it was just so laggy. What the yep. God, this event is so cool. They bring this back every year in retail wow now. They do? That's cool. God damn. Got you wow, the that's so badass. <laughs> <laughs> it's back. <laughs> oh my god. It's back. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Wait. <gasps> On the mount, too. There it goes. See, look, look, there it goes. Ooh. You record that. That is so yeah. fucking funny, man. <laughs>
Oh my okay, god. And then, 10 hours later, it was time to finish the quest line. Here I took is. a summon from inside Ankaraj, or rather inside a wall inside Ankaraj, don't worry about it, and slowly stealthed my way through the first Alliance blockade. Risking full Smart. world buffs moments before I was due to raid AQ40, I perfectly, literally frame perfectly to the point where my GTFO add-on detected I got hit, slipped out through the gates of Ankaraj. One last time, I climbed that <laughs> all too familiar Bro. staircase of dream. To the gates of Bro, Ankara, that warrior saw him. to the point where my GTA yeah. See him? I got See it? He got fuck. He he fucking saw him right there. The right warrior there shouts, but I'm just out of range. Through the gates of Ankaraj. One last time, I climbed that all too familiar staircase of dreams to receive my final reward, a dagger upgrade. <laughs> See you next mission. Beekeeper's log. Uh, 22nd of August. So now oh that the whole God. reason I did the quest line was for the dagger, um, <laughs> not the mount. Quest in Silithus that let you grind reputation with the Cenarian Circle. And I don't really yeah. know what we're doing. All I know is I need to get exalted because there's some item I need. So we're going to meet First up with them. First strike. Talk to this guy. You're like, hey, papers, give me it. Oh, like, okay. Yeah. And, and then oh you bring him back. Yeah, I got from. What's, com here. what's combat assignment? What a Logistics fucking adventure. Technical. What's what? I'm so this is for Earthstrike. What I see. So an let's do absolute combat. fucking oh, adventure. As, uh, oh, there's like four of these things in there. Holy shit. Yeah, it's four. Each, each class is to kill 30 of a certain I... kind of bug. So... Wait, we gotta kill... Wait. We have to kill more bugs? Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Wow. <sighs> Holy hey, shit. Hey, thanks for 3,000 viewers on stream, you guys. Oh my god. I think this might be one of the best wild series. I think this might be the greatest wild series ever made. Yeah, I, I, I really think so too. <laughs> I think this could legitimately be the greatest wild series ever made. Pog. Jesus. Subscribe right now. Subscribe. Subscribe. Please watch my stream. <laughs> Patreon. 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 Oh. Like the video. Oh my god. You better buy the doll. I know. Wow. That it's, it's just. I want to hear what he says after. Oh my god. It's so good. Oh my god. It's so good. I straight up. I did not know if if Barney was gonna get the mount or not. Like I thought it was gonna happen. <laughs> I really did, but fuck. There is a video. I'm Guys, in the Pokemon category right now. The greatest WoW series I've maybe ever oh, seen. Oh, who cares? <laughs> this could very well be the greatest WoW series I've Whoops. ever seen. And I just. Uh, hi, Pokemon viewers. It's so fucking good. I saw Barney on his mount like a week before uh, she posted the first video. See, like, I had no idea. And, like, I didn't want to look ahead or anything like that. I wanted it to just be... Because, like, I could see it not happening too, right? You could just get griefed a lot. Like, that happened to, like, one guy on, like, another EU server or something like that. Uh, but, like, I just... I wanted to just see it fucking happen. Because, like, with all those alliance grouping around, I thought that's what it was going to be, man. And you can see the mountain on the first stream. I did not fucking see it. There is the video right there, guys. Listen, if anybody deserves a sub, it is certainly fucking Barney. Oh my god. Give it some support. Give give Barney some subs. Holy fucking Give me some shit. subs, guys. Uh, Barney did not disappoint. What a masterpiece. The Ape Escape music was cool, too. What a storyline. It's like a movie, but it's based on real events. Oh my god. Oh my god. Lost Ark tweet? I'll look at the tweet from Lost Ark, okay? Give me just one second. Let me see if I can find it, okay? Um, Lost Ark. Okay, what did the Lost Ark tweet out? Uh, one... Wait, what? Is that it? Are we are we done now? Is that what the, the last mention? This? I want to I wanna absorb this for all it's worth. Lost Ark just tweeted about free shit? Okay, I'll look at everything. Uh, listen, guys, it's all right, guys. It's all right. We're going to figure this out real quick. One million. Barney will hit one million subs this year, 100%. Like, I mean, they're, they're 40 subs away. I mean, that's definitely going to happen. Basically, all the videos were all PvP. People are saying was, you should yeah. be in all craft. I mean, the thing is, like, in chat, said, it can be that? good, but it's just not always good. This is the exception, What's not the rule. But the exception is certainly a great story, isn't it? Holy fuck. 
9.2 survival guide is out. We are going to watch the 9.2 oh, survival pump? guide. I want to look at the Sorry, last Sorry, I don't like first, what though. listen. Like I feel like this is Do you think I have time to watch other people's content when I know when I make stuff like this? <laughs> yeah, I'll go on the podcast. I'm down. I'm 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 down to go on the podcast. Listen, my apologies for not knowing, like, things, but, like, I, I wake up and then I spend 12 hours in Sony Vegas and then I go to bed. I don't really pay attention to, like, much else, right? <laughs> He's doing all craft today. I mean, listen, if he wants to get me on, I'm awake. I'm down. I'll come on. I'm not going to invite myself onto someone's podcast, though, so if he invites me, then, yeah, I'm down. Just, this is, like, this is the video. You know what I mean? Like, this is the fucking video. This is the one. Like, it is just so amazing. I, I love it. I, I fucking love this video. I cannot express so much. Oh, my God. It was so fucking amazing. Wow. Okay. L let's look at the Lost Ark tweet first. And then <laughs> we're going to look at the survival guide. Then I want to... I, Very I did cool. want to watch that video about the, the cash shop in New World. Just... Very cool. That was really fun. That was really fun. Hey, 